we get out of the store and stuff and come home, it'll probably be backed up all the way around Loop 340 yet. Yeah. Yeah, we're at, uh, this, we're gonna have fun dealing with that today. This, uh, uh, this experience better be good. I hope so. so. So, we're on our way to Brookshire's. The good thing is we have done literally, and I'll say Ty that I didn't do it. We have completed 95% of our shopping. So we're only going up here for some certain items that we don't get over at the other place. Yeah, it's just a, just a few odds and ends, you know. It's literally definitely well under 10 items. But it's probably somewhere around 5, 6, 7 items that we got to pick up. And then, of course, we always get our lunch here and yeah, so we'll be able to manage. Just like I did right there, saving the camera. Yeah. So, so otherwise, uh, we'll be fine. Look at that. Yeah, we got a lot of fun to look forward to. Oh, don't I know. Don't I wish there was another way to get home. And it is, but it would be really going a long way around. So, yeah. I wonder if it was like this uh, yesterday. I, I have no idea how long we've been working on that bridge. Now, the good thing is, it's been kind of threatening to rain, but we hadn't had any of that yet. No, it's just been overcast, so barely any drizzle. Even if it does decide to start raining, we won't have that much to throw in the back of the truck and get out of it. It's not like we're tired of all this stuff that has to carry in it's raining. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to have to put anything in the back of the truck. I didn't for the um, first half of our shopping. No, I meant just in the back here. Oh, then, yeah. I don't mean like in the in the tailgate. Oh. Um, we don't you even use the tailgate part anymore because it's a pain in the ass. And usually we can we can fit everything in the back seat. So today is Friday, uh, the 24th of February. <laughs> this month is almost over with. I got me yawning. Ugh, God. Who sipped the yawn? I can't look at somebody yawning. It's made me not to. Oh, God, y'all. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm going to knock him in the head for that. I'm making you sleepy. He ain't making him sleepy. He's just sipping the yawn. Um, anyways, so Cheryl was supposed to be taking William, the other son, to his eye appointment, he gets these kind of injections with a needle in the eye to help his sight. Um, and he was scheduled to have that procedure done today, but then for some odd reason, they call him and say, "Ah, we'll move it to Monday." Well, Ty usually goes home on Sundays, but because his mother's been having that car situation, we've been having to run him home. But we do it on Mondays now. So in other words, Ty won't go home on Sunday, he'll go home Monday, which means since she has that appointment that afternoon, look, we'll be taking Ty home all alone, solo. I so, we're probably going to, well, I mean, I could bring Copper with us. Yeah, 
copper can come, but I still have to deal with her when I get home. It don't matter. It ain't, it ain't hard to deal with her. I can get her and bring her out. That's not a problem. The, yeah. I'm just saying that, you know, um, Mama, uh, Cheryl won't be with us when we come back, when I come back. So, uh, you know, probably just be me on the video with y'all. I, I don't know if I'll be kind of hard to video and drive too long by myself. Cause we don't really have a good setup right now. But uh, me and Ty will probably do a video going in, and then uh, and that's what y'all gonna get. <laughs> I guess that's what it's just gonna be. It's just gonna be me going home and then. Well, I guess I'm home now. But well, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Yeah, that's that's only a few days. This is Friday, oh. and that's three days from now. So when we get to that, we'll film it and, and get to that point. But um, today is our grocery shop day, and we were gonna go yesterday, but. Um, I don't remember why we didn't do it. Oh, because it was raining, wasn't it? No. It wasn't. What was it that we didn't go yesterday? Oh, you were. I was supposed to go get my tooth pulled, and I chickened out. Listen, if you haven't seen the last videos of me at the dentist. Then you need to go find them in, 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 in our video. It's probably like around video 40 something or something like that. 30 something. Listen, man. Ace Dental, they will jack your shit up. They will. They, that doctor there, he give you a little bit of that peppermint numb stuff, but I can still feel them. And then he broke my tooth off, trying to take it out. And it was much more of a, a of a, a pain in the backside to do. So I'm not too crazy about rushing over to get the, getting this tooth pulled. The tooth is tender if I rub up against it. But I think I scared the tooth. I think I scared the tooth. I think the tooth got scared knowing it was going to get pulled. And it really backed off on the pain with me. So I'm compromising with this too. You don't hurt me too bad, and I won't tear your ass out of there. <laughs> Make sense? Yeah. Not to mention that you were feeling pretty burned out after you're doing some of the uh, editing for the channel. That's what it was. I was tired out too. I also think probably most likely the reason why the tooth has not bothered me very much it's because I'm on antibiotics. Antibiotics takes away the, uh... There you go. We're good. Antibiotics takes away the uh, inflammation. So it wouldn't hurt as bad. But probably when I get off the antibiotic, this tooth is really going to start cutting out me. I'm still going to end up having to go. I'm just prolonging another week or two. We'll see what happens. All right. Cheryl was also experiencing some toothache, too, on hers. But she said hers also has kind of recited back. And she ain't on antibiotics, so we'll figure it out. And the reason why I'm on antibiotics, y'all, is because I had that uh, break in my lymphatic system. I have lymphedema on my leg, and it got open, and it was leaking out. And what a mess, y'all. And it just yeah. finally healed back up. And that was from the last ordeal over here. Yeah, it was from the last, <laughs> it was from the last shot. Kidding. We know now we're going to take our time, ain't we? Yeah. I'm not going to just jump up in this truck, and I don't give a damn who's on the side of me. If they can't hold the horses, they can just bite it. Yeah. That's how I'm going to feel about it, y'all. I'd rather you not get hurt. All right, so the moment of truth is almost here. I feel the anticipation already. And I know the moment of truth is almost here because I can start seeing the golden arches already. <laughs> Yeah, ever since good old Mickey D's decided to just put a little place right here. Well, now we know when we're close. The only saving grace to this at this time is it is school time. And people are getting ready to pick up their children. So hopefully they're picking kid, their kids up, not worrying about going to the grocery store until maybe after. But we're almost there and I, it's going to be crowded here because people are, there's a school right here. Which don't make it any better trying to get in here. So, first thing is first, we're going to see if we can find us a parking space. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, because, uh, like I said, Friday's not too bad. Not, not necessarily the most busiest day. 
Yeah, uh, definitely the most inconvenient. So I'm looking thing. just from a distance here. What uh, do you see? I don't know. Uh, there's a couple spots open. You think? I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, there's the there's the parent pickup line over there at the school nearby. Okay, so we yeah, are. There's a few spots. Is it? I don't see no few spots. Where did you see these spots at? Oh, over over there, over there. Oh, where? Where do you see a spot at? Okay, Ty sees it. Oh, in the damn middle. Oh, we've got one at the end here. Yeah, it's like, the, the, there's a few spots to pay. Okay, at least it's not in the water. Yeah. Oh boy, that was foreshadowing at its finest there, though. Nobody likes the wet spot. No. Well, now we know why. Now, this is good news that we did find a good spot. But what's not good news is it's still kind of full. We'll see how many carts are available. We shall see. All right. So, Ty's going to run off and get it. So, we will going to go in here and do what we got to do. And we'll see y'all back in a. Everybody, we are in traffic. Yep. Coming home from Brookshire's. And we are met with a barrage of backed up. Because this was what we was talking about coming up here. Yeah. Now we're in it. Yeah, because we said, oh, the other lane, it's full of a whole bunch of cars. And um, guess what? Still backed up. Yes. So, lunch was good. Oh, yeah. If it doesn't come back to haunt me tonight. Once again, the deli. The haunted burrito. <laughs> oh, but that deli. That deli. I mean, it took a little longer than usual today. But it was worth the wait. Ty is really adamant about this deli, y'all. Look, gosh dang it. That deli is good. I like going to that deli. Hmm. Do you want to work there? <laughs> hey, I said I like it. I didn't say I like it that much. Just think if you worked there, you could be snitching burritos all day long. <laughs> <laughs> snipe burritos. Like old ones that shaking that they Think about it. You'd be one of the few people that can literally come home and say, I had a shitty day. That's sound taking like it a bit more. Sounds like it's already starting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, everybody. I um, did not expect lunch to go through me that quickly today. Oh, die. <laughs> I don't think they need to know all that. All right. So, anyways, we are mm -hmm. touch and go with this traffic. Um, I don't like traffic like this. Uh, well, who does? But we have to get through it. I'm not sure how long we got to be on this side only. But, um... So we went back to two lanes. It's not moving too terribly slow, but I know it's at least two miles of this. At least. Um, and then I'm behind a big-ass 18-wheeler. Uh, be, and I hate the that I normally would get in their lane, but I already know this is not the lane. This is the lane we're going to have to be in. At least if I remember coming back, uh, this is what it looked yeah. like. Yeah, it was this one. Was I, don't this guess, one. I don't guess they changed it over on us since we've been at the store. So we've seen a lot of crazy people at the store today, y'all. It's Friday, and the freaks come out on Friday night. Freaks come out at night. Freaks come out at night. Hey, Friday night, the freaks come out. But they do hang around in the daytime, too. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen some questionable people. It was a little doggy just going like like you wouldn't believe in, in the truck next to us. Yeah, well, we were uh, we were having our lunch. Uh, some guy pulled up in the lot next to us. And, uh, you know, he went in to go do shopping. But he left his dog in there. And his dog, his little dog, couldn't tell what breed it was. Chihuahua. 
It was a chihuahua. You sure? Yeah. All I know is that it was a little <laughs> breed of dog running around in there, barking at the window. He, he was just really stirred up. He was not not happy to be in there. Let's nope. just put that. Ah, uh, yes. So, like I said, we're in this stop and go traffic. But, um, <coughs> those five items that we said we were going to get seemed to turn into about 20 items. Maybe 25. I don't even know. No, it's uh, yeah, not that much. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's, it's, still, it's totally not that much. It's definitely more than what we thought it was going to be. I said my yeah. goal was 70, and we apparently went over that. But, of course, we have extras that we did a lot for. Ah, but it's fine. Oh, it's rumble a, strips ahead. That's what we need. And we'll be fine. That's just for a, the camera. Just a couple extra things. Oh, I don't want the camera rumbling. But we'll see. Um, so, anyways, y'all. Um, we did find a cart. We did. However... Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. This, this, this one. This one. This one's going to be interesting. I get the cart. Yeah. And of course, it has the sign up to where it says it's still charging. But it's the only cart that's there. I go and grab it. Oh, it's on full power. And lo and behold, it's perfectly fine. We're driving around the store. We're picking up everything that we need. We're going all the aisles. You know, we're having we're having a great time. Everything's all great. We're all good and dandy. We're about ready to go over to the checkout. Uh oh! Guess what this means? We're going towards the checkout. All the power has to suddenly deplete. Like just really? One moment you're on full power. You're all well and dandy. And then as soon as we hit the cereal aisle. As soon as we hit the cereal aisle, that whole full bar went down to, like, 5%. Mm -hmm. Just like that, just... Yes. It's like it was fated to happen, that it was supposed to drop down that much. Yeah. Not there any other part of the store, just this one aisle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, so, was, it was pretty tough. So, you know what this means... Gotta go to the Should good old checkout. Can't do nothing about it now. Perfectly reliable checkout. Self checkout. Mm -hmm. Great. So we have to deal with the passive aggressive checkout counter again. Yes. You know the one from the last video. Item in bagging area. Please move over here. Move item in bagging area. Unknown item scanned. <laughs> Seriously? Once again, we're having the same problems with it. We're trying to scan some of our items. We, we scanned a couple items. It was the same item. It was just the two. It was just a duplicate of two items. Guess what? We scanned one of them. Okay. We scanned the second one. Item not recognized. What do you mean it's not recognized? You just scanned another copy of it. <laughs> you just scanned the same item. What do you mean it's not recognized? <laughs> Of short term memory loss? Yeah, this thing was tripping with us, y'all. This thing was definitely uh, acting very weird. And we guys would wait till it cleared itself because they kept saying, please wait for a and Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the big guy that was uh, looming over Dad's shoulder every single time trying to scan uh, his card over there to reset the machine, he didn't have to do that this time. We, we managed. Yeah. But we still had a little hassle. Yeah. Because we had to deal with this thing constantly blabbering on saying, item over here, item over here, item in bagging area, please move item out of bagging area. Just shut up. <laughs> Let me scan my dang groceries so I can go. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a pain in the butt. It was definitely acting up. In the end, we did get all of our stuff. We got into the truck. We did. Everything was all fine and dandy. Yeah. We enjoyed our lunch, and, uh, well, now and we're on the, our way home. We survived the two lanes opening it. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. We got through that little cluster. So now we can uh, scoot.
scoot along a little quicker. Yep. Yeah. So, we got through all that crap. But yeah, the self-checkout has definitely got a lot of errors and bugs in it. So we need to, uh, they need to uh, kind of get that shit straight. Wouldn't you think? Yeah. I also like how, um, oh yeah, let's go to the self-checkout that has all the problems. Not the two other stations that are not used by anyone over there. Well, I do that because I'm right-sided. I know. So check out there. I'm not going to come across my other side like this. I, I get that, but it's just there was one before it. Well, we're closest to the exit. I'm, and I can't be choosing when I got a, a beeping. Y'all, my car, like Ty said, it had a, a cardiac arrest. Yeah, seriously. That's what just, he called it. Well, yeah, because one moment, ah, it's perfectly healthy. And total organ failure. Total organ failure. Oh, my God. Look, that thing went down so quickly. It's like, okay, stroke, cardiac arrest, total organ failure. But what was so, but what was so funny about it is I had mentioned, oh, we got a little time to kill before our lunch is ready. Yeah, because someone was going to wait around in the middle of I the I said, we can ride around and see. You want to wait to see? Okay. Well, well, as soon as I said that, the car died. Did it not? It did. It did, right when you said that. Yeah. It was crazy. So, you know, it wasn't the worst experience. We've had worse ones. And for Friday. This was this was an all right Friday. It wasn't too shabby. Like Fridays are usually the most not the best. But this is an all right Friday. We missed it. That's a pretty good time. Listen, I started to not go today again. Well, you I know we can't do it Saturday. I have to do cleaning. Well, I start to say for Sunday since I knew you were going to be here Sunday yet. Oh, good Your God. Sunday will be like your Saturday yet. And I said, but, I said, oh, you don't want to spend Sunday doing this. I mean, if you did it on Sunday, I would be fine. But I don't even know what it would be like on Sunday. I didn't want to risk it. I figured we'd just push ourselves and get it done, and we did. Yeah. Now that we did it, I'm always happy when we get it done. Well, of course. So I think what we'll do next is I gotta get a haircut. So Ty and I will go get my haircut. Uh, if we can't do it tomorrow, we'll do it Sunday. I'm sure we'll find some time for it. Because I definitely want to get my haircut, y'all. I'm so tired of seeing it the way it is. Fine. No, I need to get a cut. So, anyways. That be like a dog. Really? So we are on our way to the house. Ty's gonna unload the rest of these, get the stuff put up in the freezer to meet. Yep. Um, he knows what to take back to the office. Of course. Which is it very much. Gatorade today. Yep. He'll take my Gatorades back there and our little Pop Tart. Yeah, all these little Gatorades we have here. Y'all, that Gatorade was eight dollars. Yeah, don't were remarkable. Had I known that, I wouldn't have got them. But I got them because I have been uh, having so much problem with my lymphedema, and a lot of my uh, nutrients have been depleted. <laughs> but right now, I'm trying to get a something to help my lymphedema. Uh, Get the fluids out of my leg. My leg is kind of swollen up with so much edema in it. So I'm trying to get what they call compression, a compression, um, compression sleeve. And basically, I slide my whole leg in it, and then I zip it up, turn the machine on, and it compresses. It starts at the feet, and it moves it all the way up to the thigh to help push the water to your groin. Is what the lady said. And then, of course, you urinate it out. In return, it helps your leg shrink down. Now, it doesn't go away, but it will help make it easier. Hmm. Probably will have to think about once I get it down enough, maybe I have to start wearing like compression stock, stocking or compression hose. 
on that leg to help keep it from expanding out or but it, you having to constantly help the lymphatic system move the water since it ain't able to do it on its own no more so not really liking that y'all not liking the whole experience at all but this is how it is when you have stuff in this is part of what I have to deal with hey um, I mean if it helps it helps right well that's that's all I can look for is relief um <coughs> And maybe some of y'all watch and have, uh, have lymphedema. Lymphedema is very common these days. A lot of people get them, and it's not. Some people get them from being overweight like me. Some people develop it after they've had cancer, and they've had to have some kind of surgery. They get it. I was reading about it. Uh, you don't have to be overweight to get edema. It, it can be hereditary. So I think mine probably was hereditary. 